Unique amongst glove manufacturers in the UK, Southcombe Brothers run their own leather producing unit from where all of the leather for their glove production originates. Hides are bought in as wet blues from domestic sources and heavily processed through a variety of production stages. To ensure that the correct thickness or substance as it is referred to is achieved, the leather is put through a shaving machine. Years ago, this would have taken much longer and would have been skillfully scraped by hand. The next process is dyeing. This involves using computer controlled drums where the protective and special formulated properties for parahyde are added to the leather. It is at this stage that the colours are predetermined. Lime green or brown for the fire service and black for the police. The leathers are now ready to be dried. The leather is hung up using clips and passed slowly through a heated tunnel at a controlled constant temperature. After drying, the parahyde leather needs to be softened up and so they are put into large wooden drums, a process known as the final dry drumming stage. This ensures softness and suppleness is returned to the skin before they can be used. The leather becomes work in progress and are neatly stacked in racking before being measured to establish how much of the same leather can be fully utilised and made into the final gloves. The skins are all cut individually by experienced and skilled craftsmen who ensure that only the best part of the leather is selected. Special cutting forms are placed strategically on the leather and with a heavy swing press, the shape of the glove is cut. These leather pieces, or tranks as they are known, we shall see later being sewn together to form the outer shells of gloves. Finally, the Firemaster vein stamp is proudly cut from the leather. Kevlar is an all-important ingredient to our protective gloves and needs precision cutting tools to actually cut through the piles of tough Kevlar fabric. Skilled workers operate the tools of the trade with extreme care, speed and accuracy. When the Kevlar fabric has been cut into lengths, a sliding press combined with the use of engineered cutting forms stamp out the shape of the glove along the full length of the Kevlar fabric. Each cut piece is then removed and stacked neatly, ready to be taken into the sewing room, where they will then be sewn together with the leather pieces or tranks to form the shape of the glove. Linings are also supplied as a full seamless knitted inner using specialist automatic knitting machines. These workhorses knit a mix of Kevlar and glass fiber yarn to produce a level of cut resistance unrivaled in the protective glove market. In the busy sewing room, the tranks and the protective Kevlar linings are carefully sewn together using horizontal motion sewing machines. Once complete, the gloves are ironed using glove irons that have a regulated temperature. Gloves are then inspected before they are finally packed and boxed, ready to be stored in the company's warehouse. With many styles available, direct from stock, the warehouse can pick and pack to supply most fire and police glove requirements within 24 hours.